It's been a minute, but we're back at it again with the quiz content. This time, we are seeing if I can name every starting shortstop in the last decade from every single team in Major League Baseball. It's been a bit of a rough day. You guys can probably see the fan behind me. My AC still doesn't work. It's currently 85 degrees inside my apartment, so I'm shining a little bit. I'm a sweaty guy. And as I was setting up my camera to record, my tripod broke. So it's just been, it's been going through a lot today. So you know what? I just want to go ahead and start playing this quiz. Big shout out to my boy Eagles for making it. Link in the description if you want to give it a shot for yourself and see if you can beat me. We've done catcher, first base, second base third base now it's time for shortstop 300 players 20 minutes let's get going into it play quiz okay so Orioles does JJ Hardy he does okay beautiful I think Machado played shortstop for at least a year uh this year is technically Gunnar Henderson no okay so he's gonna go Jorge Mateo did Hanser Alberto ever get here was it Jose Iglesias no was it uh Freddie Galvis okay Freddie Galvis gives us 20 did Jonathan Scope ever play he did not who would have been the shortstop before Freddie Galvis after J.J. Hardy, Manny Machado. Arias? Could it have been Ramon? It wasn't Ramon. Ooh, could it have been um, Ricky Martin? Richie Martin? Richie Martin. Ricky Martin's the guy who sings She Bangs. That's That was an insane guess. I don't know who their shortstop was in 2020. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Red Sox. We're going to have Xander Bogats, and then we're going to have Trevor. Oh, Trevor Story's not going to be it. It's going to be, who's their shortstop this year? Was it uh, Kike? Enrique Hernandez? That's right. There we go. Okay, for the New York Yankees, we're going to go with, obviously, Volpe. Does Jeter sneak on here? He does for a year. Wow, that's crazy. It was 10 years ago the last time Jeter played. Before Volpe, Glaber Torres, Didi Gregorius, and then last year was Isaiah. I want to say Isaiah every time. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. I don't know why I want to add an R to his name. For the Tampa Bay Rays, Wander Franco, Taylor Walls, Joey Wendell, maybe? No, he didn't count. Okay, who was before Wander? Playing shortstop for the Rays. Oh, Willie Adamas. Of course, it's going to be a few years. Before Willie Adamas, could have been an Ibar. He's there somewhere. I've been wanting to guess him forever. I'm glad we finally got Eric Ibar on there. Um, who could have been the Rays short? Matt Duffy, maybe? No, Matt Duffy's not on there. Tampa Bay Rays shortstop before Willie Adamas. Uh, Julio Lugo, RIP. I know he's not around anymore. Rafael Fercal was Braves, Dodgers, Cardinals. I kind of blanking. Could have been like, no, Zobris was playing second base. Who was the guy that was next to him? I, I can think of like them turning two. I want to say he was a white guy. I don't know. I can't think of it right now. Let's go ahead and move on to the Toronto Blue Jays. We're going to have Tulowitzki. We're going to have Jose Reyes. We're going to have, wow. Uh, okay, well, we know Bichette is going to be the rest of them. 17, 18. Was Ryan Goins ever? He was. Then 18, who would have been their shortstop? Did Asdrubal Cabrera ever play shortstop for the Rays? He did. Beautiful. Just remind me of that because I saw the Guardians as well. Chicago White Sox. Alexei! Finally get to say Alexi Ramirez's name. Love that. Tim Anderson is the rest of them. That's nice and easy. I'm also going to guess Elvis Andrews just while I've got it fresh in my head because that's an easy one. Cleveland Guardians. Lindor. And then we're going to have Rosario. And that's that's it. Shortstop feels a lot easier than the other position. Tigers. Tigers shortstop this year. Javi Baez, of course. Before Javi Baez would have been, was it Willie Castro? No, it wasn't Willie Castro. Who was playing shortstop for the Tigers before Javi Baez, after Jose Iglesias? This one is stumping. Oh, Nico Goodrum, maybe? It is Nico Goodrum. I don't know who 2019 is. And 2014, we're going way back, way, way back. They would have been some, like, some decent teams, right? Or was 2015 their really good year when they traded for all those guys? Who would have been the shortstop? I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Giant Peralta, maybe? Okay, he's going to be somewhere. Kansas City Royals. We know we're going to have Alcides Escobar. <gasps> Yunel Escobar gave me for the Rays. Love that. Thank you very much. Did Yang, Yang Hervis? Okay, just Yang Hervis Solarte came into my head. I'm seeing a Y name. Kansas City Royals. After Alcides Escobar, I think Mondesi got a couple years. Then we had Bobby Witt. And then 2021, Nicky Lopez, I believe. Minnesota Twins. Go, wow, Eduardo Escobar playing shortstop feels crazy, by the way. Jorge Polanco. Correa, and then who played in 2021? Was it Nick Gordon? No. Was it Kyle Farmer? No. He gives us something else. Who? Marwin Gonzalez? No. Who was playing shortstop before Carlos Correa? That's not Jorge Polanco, and it's not IKF. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be such a bad miss. I, I literally, I can picture it. I can picture it, but I, the name is not coming to me at all right now. We're going to have to come back on it. Feels like a bad miss. Okay, Houston Astros before Correa, Morgan Nensberg, or would it have been Adam Everett? Adam Everett. No, I, I that guy's a long, long time ago. After Correa, of course, we have Jeremy Pena. Los Angeles, ain't, ooh, could this have been of uh, Luis Valbuena? No, not Luis Valbuena. He was playing third base. Okay, Los Angeles Angels after Eric Ibar, 2016. Well, we know David Fletcher's going to... David Fletcher's not on here? Is Rangifo? Rangifo isn't on here? 
Uh, this should be Zach Neto for this year. Last year would have been, was it Velasquez? Velasquez? Andrew Velasquez? Andrew Velasquez. Okay, that is the guy. Interesting. And then before 2020, 2019, 18, 17, 16. Oh, Andrew, uh, Andrelton. Andrelton Simmons. Yes, and that gives me for the Twins. Yes, love it. Andrelton, beautiful. Okay, Oakland A's shortstops. It's going to be a little bit tougher. Who is their current shortstop? That's honestly a really good question. Jace Peterson? It's not Jace Peterson. Is it Nick Allen? It's not Nick Allen. Is it Kevin Smith? It's not Kevin Smith. Is it, wow, who plays short? Eledmus Diaz? Okay, it is Eledmus Diaz. Beautiful. Uh, before Elvis Andrews playing shortstop would have been Marcus Simeon. Nice. And then before him, you're kind of losing me. I can't really think of anybody besides uh, Bobby Bubba Crosby, I think, was the guy who was playing shortstop. Okay, Seattle Mariners, we're going to have J.P. Crawford, which will also give me Brandon Crawford for the Giants. Before J.P., Gene Segura, Cattell Marte, uh, 2015 and 14. Who would have been before Gene Segura playing shortstop? Like Mike, uh, not Michael Moore, Trish Taylor maybe? Or Michael, didn't um, Morse play shortstop, I think, originally for the Mariners? I don't. I can't think of who was before Cattell Marte. We're talking about some bad, bad Mariners teams. It was Kyle Seeger. It was – that's the team. I don't I don't remember. I might be missing someone uh, obvious here, but we're just going to have to live with it. Texas Rangers right now is obviously Corey Seeger. Beautiful for the Atlanta Braves. The last few years was Dansby Swanson. And then obviously this year is going to be Orlando Arcia. For the Miami Marlins, we are going to have um, – what's his name? Miguel Rojas. This year is going to be Jazz. I be Oh, it's not Jazz. It's going to be John Birdie. Okay. twenty In between. Martin Prado ever? No. Uh, woo, who would have sprinkled in between for the Marlins playing some shortstop for them? That feels difficult. I know they had Chris Johnson at one point. I, Dan Uggla would never have played shortstop. Hanley? No, I, I think I guessed Ramirez. I don't really know. I don't really know. Like, I can think of Jose Reyes, and then who was after Jose Reyes playing shortstop for the Marlins? D. Gordon? D. Gordon? No. That I can't think of. And I, I have a feeling it's going to be a bad miss. For the Mets, 2015-14, we're going to have Wilmer Flores, Ruben Tejada. That one's easy. For the Phillies, before Freddie Galvis would have been, I mean, I'm going to throw Jimmy Rollins. Oh, wow. 2014. That's crazy. Between Segura and Galvis, um, Bryson Stott's going to be there and obviously Trey Turner. I don't know who 2018 shortstop is going to be off the top of my head. I mean, it's going to be someone bad. Surely it can't be Brad Miller. Okay, Miller went somewhere. For the Washington Nationals, we're going to have a little Danny Espinosa, a little Ian Desmond in there. Then the last few years, it has been C.J. Abrams. Okay, and then the year before that, it was, wasn't was Trey Turner. Who was it last year? Luis Garcia? Luis Garcia. Okay, very good, very good. Chicago Cubs, uh, Ryan Terrio on here or Mike Fotno? I don't remember which one. Fotno played shortstop, I guess, neither of them. Uh, before Dansby, after Javi Baez, would have been Nico Horner, the Horn Dog. Before Javi Baez, on those playoff teams, Sean Castro, Addison Russell. Addison Russell, very good. Okay, Cincinnati Reds, we're going to go with this year is going to be McLean, right? Matt McLean. And then before Cozart, Zach Cozart, maybe? He does sneak on there. There's going to be a couple guys just sneaking in there. I know Kevin Newman. I'm going to throw Cole Tucker. I know he's not on the Reds. Never would have been Brandon Phillips. Who would have been playing shortstop with him there? It was like Eugenio Suarez. Okay, he got one of those years. 2018. Who? I can't think of who would have been playing shortstop for them right now in 2018. Just can't think of it. For the Brewers in 2016, throw Ricky Weeks out there. I know he's more of a second baseman. In between Gene Segura and Orlando Arcia. Again, this one feels... Jed Jerko. I know he never played shortstop. I just... I do it every video. Pittsburgh Pirates now. O'Neal Cruz. Their shortstop this year is technically going to be like Rodolfo Castro? No. g Bay? No. Who's going to be their shortstop this year, technically? I'm trying to th think around their infield. I actually... I'm drawing quite a blank. It's not going to be Key Brian Hayes. Maybe I should stop thinking about one year. Who was before Kevin Newman? I mean, do we ever have Freddy Sanchez? I guess that's a long time ago, and he played second base. Maybe like... No, Jack Wilson. What are these guesses? Who played shortstop for the Pirates? Jung Gong? No. Who, like, I'm trying to think of that Josh Harrison. would. I can tell you all their second basemen. I know Neil Walker's on there, too. I can't think about who played shortstop. It seemingly is not a very important person. Russell Martin caught and played shortstop one time. 
Wow, Pirates are really giving me a hard time. Okay, let's go to the Cardinals. We're going to have Paul DeYoung. And then last year would have been Tommy Edmond. Very nice. Arizona Diamondbacks. We're going to have Nick Ahmed. This year should be Perdomo. Love it. Rockies this year is going to be Ezekiel Tovar, my boy. We've got the Dodgers already. Padres, Tatis. Technically, last year would have been Hassan Kim. And then, uh, what's his name? Oh, it's is it? It's not Everett Cabrera, but it's something like with an E, like es, es, Esque oh, I know this guy's Ezekiel. Oh, Carrera, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Oh, I don't know what his last name is. What is his last name? Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. I have 281 of 300. I'm missing a bunch from the Pirates and the Marlins. The Marlins of all teams is one of the ones that's giving me a hard time, as well as I, mean, I have all the current players, right? I'm not missing any current. I'm missing the Pirates' current shortstop. Who plays shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates? It's a real question. Like, who actually plays shortstop for them? Oh, who plays shortstop for the Pirates? The Pirates shortstop this year. How is this so difficult? It's not coming to my head. I mean, is it tu Tucapita Marcano? Is it Tucapita? Okay, it's Tucapita. All right. I don't... He doesn't feel like it's the shortstop to me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe he is. And who played shortstop before? This is actually kind of bad that I'm missing it. Pedro Alvarez was on one of these teams. Andrew McCutcheon were was Andrew McCutcheon on these teams at that point? I don't know about that. Marlins, who would have been who would have been flipping to D Gordon? Who would have been like, hey D, double play? A Danny Echeverria? A Danny Echeverria is a bunch of them. Yes. Yes, a Danny Echeverria. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Maybe that can warm up my brain for the Pirates a little bit. I'd love to try to get to 290, but I'm also not going to spend all this time. Everett Cabrera and, uh, dude, what is this guy's name? It's not like Ezekiel. It's something like that. I got to drink some water. It's hot. I mean, the water is literally sweating. You can see it's a, it's a sweaty cup of water. This would be an early give up for the, for the quiz here because there's seven and a half minutes left. But I truthfully cannot think of any other players. Like, my brain has just shut down a little bit. I'm going to give it a few more minutes here with the Pirates. And see if we can get anybody. 2015 Pirates shortstop. It's going to be somebody somewhat significant. Somewhat significant. And I just, I really, I can't think of anybody. Oh, my God. It's going to be like some really, really, I mean, is this Jordy Mercer? Shorty Mercer. I was going to say, it's going to be some really insignificant, like, boring white dude. I mean, there's no other way to put it. He just wasn't that great of a player. Jordy Mercer gave us a bunch there. Did he fill in any? Uh, did he play for the Mariners? No, he didn't. I felt like he played for the Mariners. Or maybe the Tigers? He did play for the Tigers. Jordy Mercer. Okay. Uh, did Austin Romine? Andrew Romine. That's it. Okay, beautiful. Wow, we're really, really close to a perfect score here. Who was the shortstop before Carlos Correa? I think I'm just going to give up here, guys. I apologize for not getting a perfect score. This guy's going to name like Ezekiel something. I'm telling you. Uh, count it for me. 293 of 300. Going to go ahead and give up. Let's see how we did. So, yeah, 98%. That's it's a really good score, 293 of 300. We missed Jonathan VR. Oh, I missed Jonathan VR. That's that's frustrating. That's a bad miss. I missed Jed Lowry. Oh, former Mets. I'm missing. JT Riddle. Yep. Scott Kingry. Is that guy even playing anymore, Scott Kingry? I, remember the Phillies paid him for no reason? Another former Met and Jose Peraza. Okay, Alexi Amarista. Nope, wasn't close. It wasn't Ezekiel anything. I was I thinking maybe like Ezekiel Carrera. Was that a name? I don't know. But Jonathan VR, bad, bad miss. I can't believe I actually missed a bunch of guys that have played on the Mets. Just didn't assume they played on any other team, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what our best get worse miss is going to be. Our worst miss is Jed Lowry and Jonathan VR. Yeah, that makes sense. Best get, Andrew Romine. That also makes sense. Like, who knows Andrew Romine? Oh, I do. I think of baseball cards. But yeah, we got 293 out of 300. 98%. I don't think you're going to beat me. But if you do, let me know in the comment section below how you did against me and my score. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you. Follow me on all my social media, at GiraffeNickMark. Links are in description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm putting in that work. I'm grinding for you guys. I'm literally sweating making these videos for you. So yeah. Any kind of support you can give me, really do appreciate it. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload, so click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.